Welcome to round five of the Parenting Roundabout podcast for the week of June 21st. I'm Nicole Erdix and I'm here with Terry Morrow. Hello. And Catherine Haleko. Hello. Today we're taking a break from talking and complaining and obsessing and instead we're shouting out things other people are doing that we think you'll find as useful or enjoyable as we do. And we call this our Roundabout Roundup. Now, several weeks ago, I purchased myself a robot vacuum, which I know Catherine <laughs> already has one. Mm-hmm. And let me tell you, I thought that was the end all to be all until <laughs> I purchased and received yesterday a robot vacuum that also mops. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Does it yes. kill spiders is what you need to <laughs> That's not a function that I've seen Laser anywhere, but I, that could be, that could be getting the reviews as a recommendation. <laughs> it literally vacuums and mops your floor at the same time. Mm. So I have clean, shiny floors every day. Excellent. Isn't that amazing? It doesn't try to mop your carpet though, does it? Well, it's a dry mop, so it runs over oh, the top okay. of the carpet. Okay. Which I'm fine with, because you know yes. what? It's cleaning. You could <laughs> use a clean. I've got, like, I mean, every day, because the sun shines right into our family room and kitchen, and you can just see all the paw prints and the hair, and it's just gross. Mm. So, and I don't have that issue anymore, and I don't have to do it. Lovely. <laughs> and... I'm telling you. So I got this one off of Amazon. It was like regular three ninety nine. I got it for like one sixty. Wow. Super cheap. So worth it. So that's my shout out. Nice. Yeah. Catherine, what do you have? Well, last time we did a roundabout roundup, I talked about my peonies. Um, <laughs> and I'm now going to just lean into the like suburban gardening situation <laughs> um, because we discovered that our city will deliver free wood chips. Like, oh. you know, some people call it Ooh. bark, wood mulch, wood chips, whatever you want to call it. So mm-hmm. it, you pay for the delivery itself, but you don't pay for the actual stuff. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, so, I mean, you could, you know, you could buy it in bags at the hardware store or whatever that, but you know, one bag is never going to, do anything like you would need like 50 bags so you have to buy like you know a giant pile of it and get it (laughs) delivered into your driveway and then spread it all over where you want it to be which is a really big job and you know that part the city is not doing for us but but you know that just the bark alone is expensive and it turns out that you know whenever you see your the city like grinding up a tree trunk because it, you know, it was diseased or it fell over in a storm or whatever. They take all those, they turn them into wood chips and then they give them away to the residents. Wow. So good to know if you want diseased wood chips in your yard, so nice. you know where to get them. <laughs> I just thought like, wow, that, that is, is very cool. That is a nice mm-hmm. service. And you know, it's, I found this out by reading our little newsletter that the mayor sends every month. Aww. <laughs> wow. Um, it, because, you know, you would be surprised sometimes at some of the stuff like your library, the, the offerings that they have, um, and things like Parks and Rec Department. Like, it's quite – sometimes it can be um, extensive and usually very inexpensive. So mm-hmm. this is my shout-out to – our municipal <laughs> government. <laughs> but check into it Very because nice. you, you might find something that you want or need um, for a low, low price of paying your taxes. So <laughs> that's my recommendation for this week. Terry, nice. what do you have? Well, you know, I actually went to see a movie on its opening weekend, I went to the theater. I saw a big screen. I had some pop. Oh, wow. No. Let's, let's not be ridiculous. Of course, I didn't do that. <laughs> I watched In the Heights on its opening weekend on the screen of my laptop. And you know what? It was very comfy on my couch. And uh, the headphones fit just fine. And I enjoyed it very much. I can see where the humongous dance numbers would probably have looked better in a theater. And I... You know, commend any who would like to go and see it in a theater to do so. Please let it be successful. It's very, 
Very entertaining, great summer movie, lots of music, lots of dancing, uh, lots of extremely attractive people. What more could you want? But if you, like me, are planning really to never leave your house again, unless it's absolutely necessary, it's available on HBO Max. Perfectly entertaining there as well. If My relationship with In the Heights is that I have never seen it performed on stage. I have, however, listened to the Broadway cast album a zillion times and, you know, read the plot on Wikipedia and watched the documentary that PBS did on it. So I have some awareness of the storyline and the movie leaves out some songs and I think makes certain choices to kind of contemporize the material that then has a cascading effect on other plots. So I sort of missed some of the emotional depth that was there. If you did not know it was there, it probably wouldn't bother you. I I talked to a friend who saw the movie and enjoyed it and had never had any previous exposure to it at all. Um, So I think it's entertaining for everybody, whether you're familiar with it or not. Um, I did particularly miss, I must say, there is a song called Enough that a, a mother sings to her husband and her daughter, telling them to stop arguing and I feel bad every time it comes up on the cast album sing it Priscilla Lopez sing it I'm with you and it wasn't in the movie the character wasn't even in the movie so I missed that but uh and and some other stuff but still I would very much recommend it it was very entertaining very fun if you like musicals it's just the singing and danciest thing you could possibly want at this time of year so go check it out whether you leave your house or not nice and uh That is it for another week of Parenting Roundabout. If you missed any of our earlier episodes this week, look them up on Spreaker, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, or wherever you get your podcasts to hear what we have to say about fancy sleepovers, (laughs) bugs, Mm. and other wildlife. could be bugs at those fancy sleepovers, you know, and they can't get out of the tent and they're going (laughs) to... And meeting your kids' boyfriend's parents. You can also find all our episodes at ParentingRoundabout.com and talk back in the comments there on our Facebook page or on Twitter, where you'll find us at Roundabout Chat. And please visit our Amazon shop at Amazon.com slash shop slash Mamatood, where you can find links to a lot of the things we talk about. Have a great weekend, and see you back here on Monday. Bye.